Hello, I'm Emma Jones, founder of small business community Enterprise Nation, and we're working with Open to Export on this series of videos to show you how to successfully sell online and sell to the rest of the world. In this second episode, we look at how to make sales through powerful online marketplaces. Whether you're selling physical products or professional services, create a profile and build a presence on these sites, and they take care of attracting international traffic so you don't have to. Here are seven of the most powerful. Amazon Marketplace. You may be used to buying from Amazon, but have you considered the site as a platform from which to sell? Millions of people visit Amazon and you can sell new or used items to this pulsing traffic. If you think the volume will exceed 30 items per month, consider becoming a pro merchant seller. You can also make the most of fulfillment by Amazon, so they take care of storage and dispatch to the customer too. Etsy. With 130,000 UK businesses trading on this site, it's a powerful one to be on for any craft or handmade business. Buyers can see the price of products in 21 currencies, and most Etsy sellers I've profiled are making more sales outside the UK than in it. Folksy. A British-based site for all things craft and handmade, Folksy also attracts international customers and makes it easy for you to sell the results of your talent eBay. A mega mall online, eBay sellers continue to profit from international sales, with top export markets being the US, Ireland, Germany, France and Italy. For eBay trading tips, Tame Bay is an essential blog to follow. Elance. If you're selling services, this is the site for you. Creative designers, social media experts, copywriters and many more professionals do well from having their expertise profiled on elance.com, which attracts buying customers from across the globe. iStockphoto.com If you're looking to sell photography, videos or music effects, iStockphoto has the audience wanting to buy. To start selling, join the site, become a contributor and submit samples of your work. Simple iTunes. If your business involves creating audiobooks, podcasts or apps, the iTunes platform is your route to a global market. For apps, Apple gives 70% of revenue from the Apple Store to the seller and they retain 30%. If you're selling in volume, this can add up to a decent amount. There are other sites like these such as Crowdspring, 99designs and Odesk. Experiment with the one that suits you best and get selling. There's never been a better time. You might also consider Alibaba.com as a site to source suppliers from Asia. In the next episode, we'll look at the practicalities of selling online when it comes to delivery, payment and legal considerations.